Welcome to your Isikosa lessons with Coping Mumba. Moluen Betuna, Moluen, welcome back. Your Isikosa word for today's lesson is Unganga. Unganga. Unganga is the appropriate term of reference to the decision acted upon by a Kosa infant when its Kosa mom dangles her boobs in their face. A peto in Lala. It is also a great way to stop a closer baby from crying. Whether the infant is hungry or not, when they decide ufunga on the milky titty, it is called ungang. The art of a closer woman facilitating the sucking of the titty is called unganis. It takes absolute focus, patience and control. Hmm? Control for Amakawekas to drive and control this process. They execute it with such gentle care and sensitivity that most Kosa babies fall asleep right after or even while Unganisa is in motion. Unganisa is not to be confused with the similar sounding but obviously different word Ingang, which is the Kosa word for uncircumcised dick. And since we are on the subject, circumcised Kosa dick is called Umton. But that's besides the point. Since you took us in lab, back to Unganis. Back to Unganga, in fact, which is the action of Unganis. The part of a Kosa woman's bulb where the milk comes out is called Ingon. Unganga is not only reserved for feeding Kosa infants. Strangely, some Kosa women find it sexually arousing when a man sucks on and bamba bambas their titties before and during sex. Obviously, no milk, no milk comes out during this version of unganis and unang, but it's the thought that counts. Another form of unanga is a Kosa blowjob called unanga ingan or oja istoki to post democratic urban Kosa rebellious youth. Pronounced U -na -na. U -na -na. One more time. U -na -na. That's your easy closer lesson for today. Peace out.